Our Lady of the Airways Priority Church. A warm welcome to those who are visiting with us today, and also to those who have recently moved into our parish community. Today, we are celebrating the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Eucharist today is intended for Elena Ibovikova, our celebrant and homily for this Mass is Bishop John Boswa. After the homily, Bishop John Boswa will perform, provide an installation to our new pastor, Father Lorenzo. Please join us now in singing our entrance hymn. Number 753.
I, Father Lorenzo's son and Daniel, firmly believe and profess each and everything that is expressed in the Creed, namely, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of me, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In fulfillment of the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With pure faith, I believe also that is contained in the Word of God, whether written or handed down in tradition, which the Church, either in solemn judgment or by its ordinary and universal teaching authority, sets forth for our belief as revealed by God. I also firmly accept and hold each and everything definitely proposed by the Church concerning its teachings on faith and morals. Moreover, I adhere with religious submission of intellect and will to the teaching which either the Roman Pontiff or the College of Bishops initiate in the exercise of the authentic teaching authority, even if they do not intend to proclaim those teachings by a definite definitive act. On assuming the office of pastor, I promise that both in my words and in my, in my conduct, I shall always preserve communion with the Catholic Church. With great care and faithfulness, I shall carry out the duties which bind me to the Church, both universal and particular, in which I have been called to serve according to the requirements of the law. In fulfilling the charges entrusted to me in the name of the Church, I shall hold fast to the, depo to the deposit of faith in its entirety. I shall faithfully hand it on and expound it, and I shall avoid any teachings opposed to that faith. I shall follow and foster the, dis the discipline common to the whole Church, and I shall observe all ecclesiastical laws, especially those contained in the Code of Canon Law. I shall follow the Christian obedience that what the sacred pastors as authentic doctors and teachers of the faith declare, and what they as rulers of the Church prescribe. I shall also faithfully assist the diocesan bishops so that the apostolic word to be exercised in the name and by the mandate of the Church be carried out in the communion of the same Church. So help me God on this His Holy Gospel which I touch with my hand.
Initiative for the procession, which His Excellency the lead father Lorenzo in a solemn procession throughout the church. The Ministry of Baptism. Be a faithful minister of holy baptism so that all who approach the church in faith and the children of your parish may be reborn in Christ. Will you instruct them and prepare them for their confirmation and first Eucharist? With the help of God, I will. People of the parish, will you present, will you present your children for baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist and bring them up in the knowledge and love of our Lord Jesus Christ? With the help of God, we will. of reconciliation. By ordination, you have been appointed minister of Christ's reconciliation in the sacrament of reconciliation and in the care of your people. Will you carefully carry out these duties? With the help of God, I will. People of the parish, will you seek reconciliation with Christ in this sacrament and try to bring peace and reconciliation into your lives? and into the society in which we live. Ministry of Care for the Sick. Will you take special care for the sick and the dying? Bring them the healing power of Christ by prayer and the sacrament of anointing and offer them the viaticum of Christ's body and blood? With the help of God, I will. People of the parish, will you share the ministry to the sick and dying in your homes and in the parish? and summon the priest in case of need. <laughs> the Ministry of Preaching and Teaching. This book contains the Word of God. Will you meditate regularly upon it and preach it to your people? With the help of God, I will. People of the parish, will you follow your pastor in the readings of the scriptures and model your life on the Word of God day by day? The ministry of prayer. Will you pray the Liturgy of the Hours with due attention and devotion for your people and with them as the opportunity allows? With the help of God, I will. People of the parish, will you regularly pray for your pastor and join in prayer with him as opportunity allows? With the help of God, I will. The ministry of the Eucharist. The Eucharist is the source and the summit of the Christian life. It is your duty to preside at the Eucharist to make present Christ's sacrifice, 
with you, all your people give praise and thanks to God and are united in love by the Holy Spirit and, are, and, and as they partake of the body and blood of Christ. Will you gather your people on a regular basis to celebrate this mystery of faith? With the help of God, I will. People of the parish, will you participate with your pastor in giving praise and thanks to God in the celebration of the Eucharist? <laughs> pastoral office. Recall that the stole and chasuble given you an ordination is a symbol of your priestly ministry. See that you generously fulfill your task of serving the people of this parish now entrusted to your care. Amen. Now I present you your pastor.